It's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the real-world highway fuel economy test of the 2021 BMW 430i convertible. Now, this is going to be a little different of a test because we're actually going to run two 50-mile segments to see what sort of difference in fuel economy we get with the top up and with the top down. So we're going to head over to the gas station, fill up, and do 50 miles total with the top up, come back, fill up again, do 50 miles with the top down, same exact route, and see what sort of results we get. Before we get started, let's hop out take a quick look at the car. Newly redesigned for 2021, the 430i convertible. Now we spent quite a good amount of seat time in the 430i coupe, but I think the convertible poses a little bit better argument for existence, at least in the 430i spec. A little more fun to cruise around with the top down and take it easy versus the coupe, which feels a little bit bland with only the four cylinder motor. So if you want to see more on this car, check the links in the description. We got all sorts of videos on both the convertible and the coupe. So why do we do this test? Well, the EPA's highway fuel economy test, which gives this 430i 33 miles per gallon, that test only averages 48 miles per hour. We know there are people who take their vehicles on road trips and would like to know what sort of numbers they could realistically expect in the real world. Not only that, BMWs tend to perform quite well at higher speeds, so they often exceed their EPA results on these sort of tests. So we're going to head over to the highway and fill up here to do the convertible up portion. A few things to note for today, outside temperature is 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Should stay right around there for most of the test. Tire pressures have been set to the door placard, 36 front, 38 rear at cold. And we're going to be running the climate control at 73 degrees auto. Now, obviously this will affect things when we've got the top down, but that's just something that we're going to do because I could imagine a lot of people running the climate control when they're... Okay. Because I can imagine a lot of people running the climate control while they're driving with the top down. All right, let's hop out and fill it up. Oof, $4.10 per gallon for 93. Please hit that subscribe button, guys. It helps us out and pay for that. 1.652 gallons going in for the initial fill. Before we actually start the car up, we've got our tripometer reset. We're gonna reset our GPS as well. We're also gonna run this test in Eco Pro mode. There are a few other drive modes, sport, comfort, and adaptive. And we're ready to begin. We're gonna take it nice and easy over to the highway. It's about half a mile away. Pick up the test from there. Well, the goal of this test isn't to hypermile, but rather to drive nice and easy as one might on a long road trip. So in order to do that, we're gonna get up to highway speeds here at a reasonable pace and set our cruise control at a GPS indicated 72 miles per hour. BMWs often read high on their speedometers and it looks like that is the case for this one as well we're gonna have to get up to it's like 76 on the dash to get 72 well, there's 73 on the GPS so official highway impressions pretty good even though this is a soft top it's very well insulated on the inside you could there's a hard material right here so it's not like you're just reaching up and touching the the soft material or anything. Tracks very straight, steering's confident, not too loud in here either. So we're going to continue on for 50 miles round trip. In the meantime, enjoy this time lapse of the trip. Coming into the end of our first leg of the fuel economy test here in the 430i convertible, 
get 36.6 miles per gallon on the dash. So four miles per gallon better than that EPA estimate. Like I said, BMWs do very well with fuel economy. I'm gonna take it nice and easy back to the gas station, fill up, and then head back out, the convertible top down, and all the rest of the things the same. We did measure 74 decibels on our rudimentary phone decibel reader going in both directions, so a little louder in here than I would have expected, but then again, it is a soft top convertible, so maybe I shouldn't be too surprised. We did average 69 miles per hour, so not quite 70, but pretty darn close. Even that shorter test just makes it harder for us to get up to that average. All right, before we shut it off, 36.9 miles per gallon on the dash. Let's fill it up. We had 1.505 gallons going in and 53.0 miles on the odometer, so that comes out to 35.2 miles per gallon. So about one and a half miles per gallon below the car's readout. We got everything reset and we are ready to head back out on round two. Start it up, get going and get this top down. You can do up to about 30 miles per hour. Takes a little while though. I am actually going to turn the climate control off for this portion of the test. Instead of running the HVAC on auto, I'm going to turn auto off and just run it at 73 degrees with one fan speed. So that should make it pretty even with the previous test. We've got the windows up. really have to lean into the throttle to get it to get going in eco mode. Ah, it is windy on the highway. It's not exactly a luxury experience. <laughs> ah, this is not going to be particularly pleasant, do you think? So, we're going to continue on with this portion of the test and see what sort of numbers we get. Here we are, coming into the end of round two, 430i convertible fuel economy test. About half a mile per gallon lower on the trip computer than we were coming in with the top up. However, we've also averaged one mile per hour lower on this portion. I'm not exactly sure where we lost that. I don't know if that was getting, uh, doing our switch, turning around, or if it's just gonna get stuck behind a few extra semis. It felt like a pretty similar route, but I guess we were a tad bit slower. So, as I said, we'll get back to the pump and fill up again and see, let's see, we got 38, what was it, 36.9 on the dash when we pulled up last time, and then 35.2 when we actually did the calculation. So we'll see what happens this time. Definitely more wind than I would like Coming in the cabin here, I know there's a spot back there for a wind deflector, but we don't have it to try out, and I'd be amazed if it really cut down that dramatically on the wind, but an LC500 this is not, but hey, you know, if you're buying a convertible, you want to be able to feel the wind, right? So lower speeds should be no issue. And there we are, 36.4 on the dash for this one. Let's fill it up. 1.548 going in. 53 divided by 1.548 is giving us 34.2 miles per gallon. So a whole mile per gallon lower 
even though on the car's trip computer it was only half a mile per gallon. So I'm inclined, if you'd let me, to round this up to 35 miles per gallon. I know that's not what this is saying, so if, if you'd prefer to say 34 miles per gallon, that's on you. But for me, looking at there's only there was a 0.5 mile per gallon difference in the trip computer and the, this is not a perfect science filling up the car so we try to do it the same way every single time but there could be little variations so considering the first result was 35.2 so a little bit above that would have rounded a little bit above 35 and this one is just 0.3 away from rounding up i'm actually going to round it up to 35 miles per gallon the bigger takeaway is only half a mile per gallon difference in running at 70 miles per hour with the convertible top down versus convertible top up. That's pretty remarkable. I figured it would be a bigger delta. Now, that's not going to be the same for every convertible. Every car is going to have different aerodynamics, but at least in this 430i, half a mile per gallon difference is pretty good. And what's really good is the fact you're getting 35 miles per gallon either way cruising in this sporty convertible. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that sort of test. If you want to see more on the BMW 4 Series, check the links in the description. And we'll also have an M4 manual coming in in a few months. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel and hit subscribe so you see our coverage on that one. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. Mm -hmm.